Oh, this is a good one. Okay, everyone, welcome back to the School of Light and to another episode of Image Breakdown. Now, full disclosure, I was just racing out the door and I got a message from this gentleman to oh, over that side there, the great and wonderful wizard of light painting, Palatev. How are you, mate? I'm so glad. I'm really, really great. Thanks a lot, man, for having me here. Ah, it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a Look. pleasure to see you. Ah. Always, anytime. <laughs> okay, as with a lot of these early uh, image breakdown uh, episodes, I'm grabbing, pe I'm plucking people off the internet and out of the light painting community that that do a whole lot of different things. Now, Palatef is a guy that uh, I I have quite a deep passion for. We have been lucky enough to meet a few times. He flew all the way to Australia to be part of our light painting world alliance to a a couple of. Oh my gosh, two, a long time yeah, ago now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A long time ago. But the image breakdown we're doing today is on the image I'm going to pop up on the screen here. Uh, and I'm going to make a statement, Palatef, that I think you've heard me say, but for everyone out there of the literally millions of light painting images that exist on planet Earth, this is by some margin, I'm getting goosebumps. It is my favorite light painting image that exists today. I remember so deeply the first time I saw it. I've been lucky enough to see Palatef create this image several times. He was very, he kindly reproduced it at some of our workshops. Um, as I do in all of these, I'm going to briefly introduce Palatef to you if you don't know. And it, there's, <laughs> there's a few different ways to, to do that, but, I, but I'm just going to um, gush for a little bit. Um, you, you are you are such a generous man you you what I love about you in the light painting community is you 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 are all about community you are all about gathering groups of people together and sharing the light um, and and that's in your own personal community there you yeah. ooze you you ooze that online and and at the workshops that we've done together you've also done that and so what I would really love you to do mate uh, without further ado uh, is this image, like all pieces of true art, has a name. <laughs> it is called the singularity. <laughs> what I would love you to do for us, Pala, is can you, first of all, talk us through a little bit of your philosophy around light painting community, how that relates to this image, and then we'll step through some technical stuff. The floor is yours, oh wonderful wizard of light. But, well, the first thing I have to say about the singularity is it's based on, on Gilles Kurman's uh, picture. He, 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 you know, light junkies, uh, it's our religion. We, we have learned so much from there and it was so interesting, etc. And Gilles Kurman, which is a, a, a talentuous light painter, very technical one from the Netherlands, has posted this inner sun image. And I was, what? How, how come he did, did that? And I was trying to reproduce that, but the, the main idea was to try to integrate the sun in a scene, not, not only having it floating in the space. I, I'm always about human at some point. I, I need to have human in my frame because, well, it gives a scale. It, it, you're immediately connected with human for me, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on a more general way, my, my, my philosophy is, when I started light painting here in Belgium, well, there were no one and no information at all. No, nobody was doing that in Belgium. And I've seen some pictures through light junkies. I've learned through the community. It's the Jason D. Page website. It's Noctography from John Benbo, who was also publishing some tutorials, etc. And the light junkie group. So for me, light painting is about community. It's about sharing information with others. And as I've started alone, immediately, it was kind of sad, I would say. <laughs> I was so happy when other asked me, oh, okay, it looks interesting. Can I join you and have fun together? Yeah, sure, come, come. And, and, and since, since 2012 now, I, I've met light painting party every Thursday night for uh, years now, and everybody who wants to join can join, I even if it's not a light painter. Of course, nobody starts life as a light painter. You start life as something <laughs> else, and you, you might become a light painter if you're really interested in it. So, yeah, it's all, well, for me, it's all about community, definitely. It's not 
something that I do alone. I, I, since years, I've never been doing a light painting session alone. For me, it's all about being with other and yeah. sharing and having fun. And there's this thing. Mind. There's this thing that happens, mate. When when um, when we were when we were doing the tour, when every time we went to a workshop. It's, it, it's like, no matter how tired we were, we were working so hard and traveling so much and, and, and uh, there may have been a few beers going on here and there, but you, every time you came into a room and, and, and you saw that there were people who were ready to learn, you just, you like, this, this energy comes out of you and, and you, even though English is your second language, it, it, it mattered zero, you were, you were just so, so much energy and the ability to transfer that knowledge you have to other people so beautifully. It, it was a joy to watch. Yeah, well, you, you, you're a showman. You, you know, oh, oh, it is kind of an energy coming from the crowd. And, yeah. and, and for me, it's yeah, not, yeah. well, I'm not a showman, but there is, there is the zone, you know? Yeah. When, when you are speaking about light painting with other, it's, it's yeah. sort of, you're out of this world. You're, you're, a free spirit in some way you're, you're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly uh, that's people it. have to throw, throw rocks on you to stop <laughs> that yeah rocks yeah it, it's um anyway we 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 i'm gonna do another uh i want to do another uh, video about the tour and we'll talk about that in a bit more detail there but what I would really, I think people will be fascinated to, uh, and, and again, uh, Palatet has created a superb tutorial on how to create this effect. Um, and, and like I say, I've got some footage of him showing it to crowds of people. But what I would love to do uh, is just to get you to just talk through, just talk us through the steps. Like, like I, I'll, there'll, there'll be footage of you doing it, but talk us through it, mate. Yeah, the, 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 well, <clears throat> one of my favorite thing with light painting is the fact that it allows you to create magic in some way. Yeah. You, yeah. I mean, it's if it's for uh, representing the reality, it's not so much my interest. I mean, so yeah. I, I like to to add some sort of a magic, transforming the the place and and the the people with with light, etc. So. Well, the, the, this sun, this kind of inner sun that Gilles Kurman has invented, it was very interesting as a texture. It was very nice. Well, I did not really reach the point where I was able to do exactly the same one as he did. Yeah, but yeah, my yeah. main goal was to um, try to integrate that in a scene with uh, humans and create yep. the, 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 the most challenging part for me was to create the, the, the radiating light coming from, from the, well, virtual source, because there is no real sun in the tunnel or, or in the place. Mm -hmm. So it was mostly working on that. But, the, 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 well, of course, everybody uh, figure out the, the tube part with where you have to put a tube on your lens and then light the end of the tube without having the source of light coming through the camera well that's the fun part that's the 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 tricky one where you're kind of a prestigious uh, magician you know you yeah <laughs> with your small things blah, 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 blah. Yeah. and and then and then for me that's that's when that part is finished the real show is starting it's it's when you have to do the environmental light yeah. Uh, I, I, I see that you have done a, a breakdown interview with Denis. Uh, yeah. You are yeah. Denis. Yeah. Yeah. He just released a, a wonderful picture of an um, angel of fire yeah. floating in the air with the environmental light simulating the, the radiating light. It's, it's so great. I love that. It's, it's, it's creating the illusion, which is really fun. Yeah. You know? Uh, when you see that it works and people really believe that what they see exists, it's whoa, okay, oh. that's a good one. <laughs> and just and before before you step through this, uh, anyone watching this, and it's good to know this before we start getting into the the this is it. This what you see on the screen now is what is on the back of the camera. 
sure. there, there are not multiple components here that Palates no. has created and then done and done in the thing. So as he's stepping us through these things, this is what this and, and I, I still remember the first time I actually saw you do it after knowing it. It carry on, sir. Thank you. Oh, wizard of life. Yeah, but well, you, you know our English friends, uh, Phil Fisher, Matt Barras, Tim Gander. They they are so much crazy when they, they remove the lens and yeah. <laughs> switch the camera from place to place. So this one singularity is kind of the baby version of what they do. <laughs> with that crazy image it's well yeah you are using the camera as a tool and and, and not only a tool to capture the image but yeah. a tool to create the effect because the, the tube on the lens well you are using the camera as a physical support to create the image and yeah. well i think that's that's a mind changing things from from for people who see that for the first time because they, they did not think about I can use my camera to help create the effect. There were a sort of a intellectual separation between the camera and what you are doing in, in, in the frame. But uh, the, the people who do the kinetic photography, they know that, of course, yeah. because they are moving their camera all along. But using the camera as a tool and creating effect on the camera itself, it's, well, it's just, when you see that the first time you say why did i think about that yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah. So obvious, of course but <laughs> you need someone to show it and then go click and yeah. you're you're good to go so it's yeah it's technically it's not that complex definitely uh, again or or english friends are doing <laughs> things that are far more sure. crazy than that but but this it's just a way a way of thinking if you, if you yeah. switch and try to to use that then it's a new door and you can go and be crazy about what you want to create well you can create you can create this surreal now i i I'll, I'll, I'll i've never ever shown the image i'm about to put on the screens but i'll pop it up now this is an image that i created when i was on easter island and i had so little time to um to work around the front of this moai and I had 3D printed a sleeve to go over my uh, lens, but I hadn't done any practice, mate, before I went and I spent, you'll see now, it was just a disaster. I tried so hard to create a singularity in the middle of a Moai and I ended up giving up and I've never shown the image until now, but <laughs> <laughs> ever. But, but it, so, so there's, um, there's refocusing going on here. Yeah. Yeah, this changing really apart here and refocusing. So yeah. uh, you need a lens which is at least able to change the focus. That's that's the minimum. Changing the aperture, well, you can you can solve that if you cannot change the aperture on the lens. You can solve that by using a neutral density filter. Yes. On the lens itself, it's, it's also the filter that you can put, and then you can change the aperture without having to change the the the, the real ring yeah. of aperture. But so, the focus, yeah, you have. You have to change the focus. There is no, you, no yeah. other way. Yeah, and you change the focus, and then there's covering the lens. Um, yeah. And then you, you, you shield the, the light. You shield yeah. the light. And you, you would have been using one of your beast torches here to create, the, um, to create that beautiful glow on the ground and, and shielding it from the thing. Now, I have a question for you, and I, I've never asked you this about this photograph, but how many attempts did it take you to get it so you were happy well um well at the beginning a lot yeah. <laughs> now it's more something like two or two, yeah. two to have it kind of right and three well when, when the, the second one is good i i always try a third one because usually yeah. it's even better with, with the third one but we, yeah it's all about balancing the different aperture um yeah. having your mark right for the focus so yeah it's a little bit tricky but it's it's kind of a habit the first time you do yes. this you, you need to do it 20 times of course practice a eh? practice practice, yeah, practice. Definitely, definitely i think one of the things we, we we recreated this image in the flower shed here in port adelaide about a kilometer down the road then we did it again on the sydney foreshore with a giant yeah, with the queen mary too the yeah. queen mary too was right there 
Um, look, it. I, I hope. I hope anyone watching this at least gives it a try. You, you'll. You, you know, we we've showed a bit of the method. You've seen some video of Palates creating it, and the thing that you realize really quickly is that the tools are really simple. It's just simple tools. It's a. It's a yeah. like so much of what you do. It's just a tube and a bit of thing with a what's it and a and a sparkler, and yeah. Um, it's, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's, and the tube that I'm using is is a cardboard tube, which yep. is coming from uh, uh, floor carpets. You know yeah, the, the yeah. floor, uh, and they are they have these big cardboard tube inside the carpets when when yep. you you're spreading. So it, they, they are throwing that away. You can you can go the day where the the, the, the rubbish guy goes to take <laughs> the, the rubbish, you just. Take one tube and you have one. You can use smaller tube, but then it's all related to the diameter of your lens, yes. of course. I That's, 3D I 3D printed one with the lens yeah. hood thread on it and everything. Um, That's and it was perfect it wasn't, version. It wasn't as good as your cardboard tube, mate. Yeah, but remember when when when, when I arrived in, in Australia, I did not bring the tube with me. So I had to ask Rob, Rob, do you have a cardboard tube? And say, yeah. well. Yeah, let me just check in my uh, and that we found one and uh, well, it was not fitting perfectly on the lens but that's not a problem you just yeah. use a, a small uh, stand, stand to, to, to keep the tube and so yeah it's it's really really cheap of course you can have the 3d printed luxurious version that's nah, the nah, nah. it didn't work it did cardboard <laughs> tube all the way well yeah, mate look work, but you need 20 tries to to to, to just yeah. have the, the right procedure i would say well you know the thing Paolo. it it um thanks for talking us through it a bit I'm, in the in the tone of keeping these reasonably short i always like to make sure that people see a little more of people's work and and the great thing about your photography is i i literally have your instagram feed open here and you just have this ability to create scenes that are so surreal and so clean. They're like a dream. Um, well, the fireworks ones are pretty crazy, but, <laughs> but you, you have this, the one, the, the, in, in, you did a recent series in the tunnels with uh, the people and like the woman with the sword and, and there's just this, you, you, I did a, in, in one of the school of light tutorials, I did a thing on complementary colors. And yep. the ability to take a scene and add, like I'm looking at ones here with purple and green, they're complementary colors, so they look amazing. Reds and blues, they always look amazing. Um, yeah, I, I should stop looking over there because I get distracted because they look so amazing. But what I want to encourage anyone watching this to do, as I do with most of these first ones, but particularly with Palatet's work, what you will find when you look at his stuff or your stuff, Palatet, is that you've taken a style of light painting and you 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 just knock it out consistently all the time. You don't you don't tend to sway around with different methods and things. And what th what that's meant is that you can scroll through hundreds and hundreds of your images. And the very the most recent stuff, like it 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 goes in one direction. It it always improves. It's not like it's not like oh well, there's your thing, you know. It it it's always going to be the same. Like there is a very clear growth of you as an artist, and people are going to get tired of hearing me say this, but I am so adamant, Palatet, that the difference between someone that is a light painter and someone that is a light painting artist is when I see an image come up on my screen. I know it's Palatef. I know it's Palatef or it is someone that has seen your work and has been influenced by you. And I, um, yeah, you, you, you inspire me. You inspire me. One question before we go. If there is someone that is keen to learn, uh, learn your style of photography, but particularly looking at the singularity image, what piece of advice would you give someone that was wanting to have a go at this to, to, to really kick them off in a positive way? Uh, well, ju just try and do it again and again until 
as long as it's fun for you and, and you enjoy doing it and, and yeah. you see improvement at each try and you improve, well, do it. Yeah. Well, there is no other way. You, you cannot, well, it's like Kung Fu. You, you cannot learn Kung Fu while watching tutorials. At some point, you will have to go on, on, on the floor and really try. Well, yeah. I do not practice Kung Fu, but you, yeah. you know what I mean. It's, I know, it's yeah. not something that you can learn just by watching it. You have to do it in some way. You have to use your hands and, and, and yeah, there is no other way. Uh, light painting is about doing things. It's a practice. Yeah. And people, it's, it's been a reoccurring piece of feedback from everyone, mate, is, is that, uh, you know, and, and, and we're, you know, 10 years, 12 years, we've been doing it a long time. And, and this is the thing, whether it's spinning an orb or it's doing your blading or it's creating your backlit images, you know, you can walk behind someone, I imagine, or I've seen you do it, with a torch and backlight someone, bang, every time, because you have done yeah. it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. Yeah, um, that, that, that's true. But, but if I have to spin a, a, a bowl of lights, yeah. I'm screwed. I, I will need six months before having yeah. one which is approximately valid. <laughs> and I have tried desperately to backlight people and of create course. them in images. And, and I know, and I go, well, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I need to, I need to do it a whole lot of times. Hence the reason that we have people like you here talking to us about your images, mate, it is uh, my dinner time. And uh, I just, what time is it there? Well, it's, uh, well, it's almost noon. Yeah. Oh. Well, there you go. So I am going to do one uh, one thing now. I'm going to, of course, as with all of these, your Instagram and all your places are going to be splashed everywhere. If you're watching this and you are someone, I don't even care if you are an experienced light painter, I want you to go and hang out on Palates Instagram feed and his other places, watch some videos um, and just absorb it, breathe into it, let it, give it some time because they are deep, deep, beautiful photographs and the singularity is the greatest light painting ever created in history thank you very much Palatef. thanks a lot Pal <laughs> oh, when when palatief was down here in australia he got the nickname the wizard you are the wizard of only in australia only <laughs> <laughs> i love you man i love you too man thank have a great uh, lunch and uh <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the interview, man. Good luck with that. <laughs> you have lots of work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for joining us at the School of Light. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the School of Light. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be adding videos all the time. Head over to the Light Painting Tool Shop at the website. There's a huge array of tools I've made there for you to take on your light painting journey. Peace.